Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper, another video of Red Shadows, and today we're going to go over another team, uh, a solo artist. It's only going to be the one and only Coronag. So, today we're going to go over Coronag's build, and Masteries, as you can see, we got some food in and stuff like that. So, Coron Coronag is a champion that everyone can get free, but he does take a lot of work. Um, to get him for free and ideally you have a computer as well to get him and fast as possible why did I build Coronag? I think Coronag is a great option for people that don't have a ninja for sure I still think ninja is a little bit better than Coronag for Sand Devil just because he's less gear intensive however we can't get uh, Coronag uh, sorry ninja anymore so it's very very rare you can get him this build is 100% but it does take a lot of gear um, so I'll go into that when I'm showing your gear and stuff like that um, but like I said Coronag it takes about four months to get Coronag it takes about two months to get the first three done on a ref counts referral and it takes another three months to get the other three done as well so that's something just to bear in mind um, if you have a computer, you've got few stacks, you can just download it from your link. You just need to put your link somewhere, and then you can download it for free for raids on multiple accounts, and then just do the work on blue stacks. Just keep running campaign basically until you hit level 50. Um, so, I do this for a few people already. Um, it's a paid service, I do. Uh, where I will help them get the Coronag. Some people like me want to catch them all, so you know um, that is something that I I did worked hard to get, and it took me about four months. Sometimes a bit takes a bit longer, depends on your schedule as well. Um, if you're a mobile player, it's still doable, but it's gonna take way longer. Is he worth the wait? I think a free legendary uh, plus rewards is definitely. As a free to play, definitely worth the grind. Um, it's better options than player and points for sure. Um, and it does, yeah, it will take you a bit longer to do accounts, so just bear that in mind. So, uh, eight, eight months worth of grind. If you get some friends to help you, fair enough. If you have multiple devices, that's also a good thing as well. So, as you can see here, we did it in about two minutes. Two minutes to 20, no brimstone as well, so. With a brimstone, it can go faster. Um, so I'm pretty chuffed about that. He's a little bit faster than Ninja. Uh, but just for me, Ninja is less gear intensive. He's like 40 speed, 30 speed different. Um, if you guys want to see the video on Ninja, I will ping it at the end of this. Um, and I also will ping the mother, um, mother Cyclops. Is it Cyclops or something? Anyway, um, team at the end of this as well. That's for level 25. Um, so I've done about 100 runs with this. And it does fail every now and again. So as you can see there, it did fail there. Um, so it's about 99% consistent, which is a shame. Um, Ninja is 100%. I've never seen Ninja fail with God's Ikenori if the team's built properly. My Coronag needs another 5 speed as well to be like safe, I think it's like 281 and he needs to be around about um, 286 which was the correct one so he always puts his skills on a right uh, cooldown so I think if the boss like uh, crits him too many times he will just fail um, Obviously his gears are fully ascended, there's no Great Hall bonus um, with the Line of Arena update coming, so that's some things to take into consideration. Empowerment and Blessings would also help you as well stay alive and get it to 100%, it's just going to take a lot of in-game gear to get there. Um, I did make sure I ran this a few times, it just doesn't work at 25 so there's something to bear in mind. But Ninja is also very difficult to get work at 25, being weak affinity. So, yeah, um, still prefer Ninja over the two, but it's a nice 
to see this in depth and see him do it. Um, and he's quite quick, you know. Um, his time does vary different, and he can do it a bit slower. I think I ran him at 277 earlier as well to have him complete this quite a few times. He did take away longer, and then I realised he wasn't fully booked on his A3. So it's something to bear in mind. Um, so yeah, overall, Karangna, good start. Gonna do a lot of testing with him. Gonna test him in Hydra once it's fixed. Um, I'm not gonna do any Hydra videos until it's fixed because I don't see the point. And um, also, we are waiting. Uh, we'll, we'll test him out in Ice Column at some point as well, once I've changed the masteries. So as you can see, he, he's gone over the two, 200, two minutes and 20 already. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but as you can see like I think you got resisted back there He has accuracy aura, so that's something to bear in mind. You could drop your accuracy a bit lower Which will help you make up for the speed um, But you do need quite a few triple speeds to get the speed because you need the regeneration Set or this won't work without regen. This is only way of healing uh, You also need his counterpart as well, which you get from referral She's pretty easy to get. Not a bad champion herself. She doesn't need anything else though. She just needs to be in the same team for that passive. Uh, so if you don't have a ninja, this is something that you could find useful for sure. Um, yeah, so I, I don't think he's a bad effort. I don't think he's also uh, a bad way to go so it depends on your gear and how good your gear is uh, and obviously how long you've been playing so let's go into his uh, presets first because the presets do really matter in this so as you can see other teams I've made recently is Sand Devil level 25 and uh, Godseeker Nori I know everyone Godseeker Nori and Ninja but this one's quite good and the only thing this has over God Seeker Nori and Ninja for the free to play players is you can train food at the same time so you get a bit more for your energy um, so as you can see he opens with the A1 and, and then he will do the A2 and then the A, you want him to do the A1 first everything needs to be bucked so uh, this ability will put the HP burn on which is the 80 100% chance was booked on free turn cooldown and then he will want to do his free turn hitter and it has a 100% chance of instantly activating any HP burn this is going to be a great skill for Hydra so bear in mind keep this in keep this in your mind and um, keep an eye on my channel because it's something we'll look at and as you can see if he's on the same team he revives the champion with 50% HP and turn meter when killed so that's why he's able to stay alive without Godseeker Nori basically. Um, I might try and also build him with Godseeker Nori to see if he makes it a bit quicker. Because if you reset this ability and this one's re reset as well, I think that you could maybe even do it faster with Godseeker Nori. So it's something I will uh, test him with. So yeah, really cool kit. Let's go into his build and see what it's got. So obviously we've got no... Uh, blessings that's something to take in consideration so his gear has been ascended um, so that's something as well that you need to take into so we have a triple accuracy banner so we have a uh, accuracy banner with triple speed now this could be a speed banner accuracy banner sorry accuracy banner HP banner or defense banner with a triple speed um, so just bear that in mind and then you've got HP and then HP here. So you could do with maybe more defense here. You don't need a quad HP. You will need a high quad. Ideally you have speed boots with ascended speed as well. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, and then your accuracy as well. And then a bit defense. Now if you run a defense or HP banner. You will need to run an accuracy chest. To make up for the lack of accuracy. So as you can see here, we've got triple accuracy. We have HP ascended to four, just for a bit more swiability. 
uh, there is a triple speed here so as you can see if I'd lift this up another four or five speed it would actually be at the correct speed that it should be at to make him consistently fast at like 2 minutes 20 and then we have triple speed there as well triple defense which is not really needed but does help eagle eyes tier 6 do not take war master war master will break a comp um, Master Hexer just to try and stand the HP burn, Law of Steel to give you more stats like accuracy and speed. Spirit Haste really key, when everyone dies you'll get 24 speed so this will help you on your speed. So if you think really if he's meant to be 286 that make him 310 speed. So the speed is quite big. We took the defense as well because the defense speed, accuracy and HP really matter in this comp. So we have took the tough skin and then survivability here and here um, and here as well. Now you, instead of taking wisdom battle you could take shadow heal to just help a bit more with the heals. You don't really want to take any turn meter masteries because you want them at a specific speed. So I got them working at uh, 281 speed and I know the max speed you can go to is about 287 for a consistent run so if you can get a bit more defense that'd be great you do want to be pushing towards 3400 uh, I'm actually over killing a little bit on the on the HP side so on the HP side you need like 52,000 to 53,000 uh, and then pushing it to how high you can so as you can see my gear is not fully um, uh, fully ascended yet so I could make this a bit better as well I could come into here and test this out so what do we get HP call we'll take that this is normally a piece I have on my warlord as well so for me that's a good investment to make uh, and that will again bring me up another um, to 50,000 57,300 so towards 60k would be a really nice mark to have um so yeah um i'm actually just gonna change the skin because i can i think this will look way cooler um so there we are guys there is your Korganog video for sand devil we're gonna do a lot of testing with him in other areas uh i think ice golem was somewhere we'll look at hydra is somewhere we'll look at um let me know if you want to see me in in, in, uh, in killable comp i don't know if that's a good idea or a clan boss comp and uh, what else could he be useful I could think off the top of my head uh, maybe even Twin Tower an unkillable team I said with Geomancer maybe he could do something fun there and um, maybe even be faster so that's something we'll test him out on as well if I feel like it's a good video post obviously I will but if it doesn't work then I won't I won't bother obviously posting it so um, I don't want to give any uh, bad videos or anything like that so yes very gear intensive is it worth the four month work of work yes if you don't want to do the work or if you can't then if you would like some help just contact me on discord um, so yeah and that's about it really really hopefully you like this video Please remember to comment, like and subscribe and I'll ping my other Sand Devil teams at the end of this. If you would like to see it, go ahead, check it out. Till then, peace.